Hello everybody. Okay, so this is my second unboxing. My setup is really bad. I'm totally not set up for videoing. The lighting is bad, crazy. But here we are with another box from Chic Sparrow. And inside here, I've got some exciting things. Not all for myself, unfortunately, but nice gifts. There's one thing in here for me, so let's get to it. We have the box. And my hands are not too bad today, and I'm probably going to get this out of frame a bit. I, like I said, I'm no professional at this. Yes, that last bit was satisfying. Okay, I'm going to, okay, contents. That bit. La, 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 la. Chic Sparrow. This is my first one that I've gotten the pretty printed paper and the little sparrow on there. So cute. There we go. Here we go. Gift time for me and for others. Am I saving that? Nothing else in the box. Nothing else in the box. Chic Sparrow. And my goodies. We don't read that anymore. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. That's a new, that's a new feathery thing. I like it. I like it. And um, I'm in Australia. So go USA. Oops, that was my address on there. I'll take that out later. Okay, one by one. There's four dust bags here with four sparrows. So the thing is, two years ago, I got into Midori's. I bought my own Midori and I was so excited about having them, uh, having one of them, that I started making some faux dories for my daughters-in-law, my daughter, my grandchildren, my friends, and they all loved them. Um, but now I just recently saw one of my daughters-in-law and her faux dory is falling to pieces because she's used it so much. So I thought <laughs> I will get them each a chic sparrow for combined Christmas birthday. So here we go. This is the, this is the Claire Outlander A6. Mm. This is for one of my daughters-in-law who has six children. That's beautiful and smooth. She's going to love that. She's a country girl and she loves her leathers. So this is beautiful and it's just a lovely weight and a nice thickness. Going to be beautiful. She's going to love it that one back. Got a couple of little marks up on it already but they could be anyway it will soon get quite marked up and I know that we have to bend that up so let's put that one back in there. Next. I wish these were all for me. I do I do I do but they're not. I don't know what I'd do with them all anyway. Okay so I'm thinking this is the cream oh yeah that's lovely that it's got some nice little variations in the I don't know if you can see that but nice little texture not too pebbly but just nice and 
leathery looking so beautiful excuse me gorgeous 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 that is beautiful That's, I love the white stitching on that is really really nice very classy looking I love that white and on the clear it was colored so they I think that's nice for each of them so the white on the black is really lovely and I love the I love the because this is a you know a nice neutral natural brown it's sort of got a ready tinge to it I actually like the brown stitching like that I like that Okay, and this feels, this feels nice. I love the feel of this. Beautiful. And I'm going to load these up with notebooks and things for them. Build some little dashboards. So this is another A6 for my other daughter-in-law. And this is, oh, that is really pretty now I have heard I've been a little bit nervous about this because I've heard that they darken somebody said that they go a weird brownie green so I'm really hoping that that doesn't happen too badly to this look at those gorgeous gorgeous splatters that is so lovely I did not think I would really go for those but they're really pretty. I like it and I like the leather. This is actually a Darcy leather that's been aged somewhat and yeah, I could, I could get into that. That's really pretty. I love it. In fact, I love it more than I thought I would love it. Beautiful leather. I love the stiffness of this one and the structure. I mean, they're all different, but they're all beautiful. I presently own a Mr. Darcy, a Cream, and two Pemberleys. So I haven't seen the Outlander or the Odyssey. So this is Odyssey Hera, and the black was the Black Beauty Cream, and then the Outlander Claire. So this has got the old... This has got the old pen loop, which I don't have an issue with the old pen loop. And I hope I don't have an issue with the new pen loop. So that's that one. Beautiful. I really do like it. Mmm, surprising. I didn't think I would. And now this is for me. This is for me for journaling. I've got A5s for art. I've got an A5 for my food diary for my arthritis and prayer journaling and note taking and all sorts of things and I've got an A5 Pemberley in Daisy for my uh, memory keeping. I keep photos and journaling and sort of in there. So this is Buttered Rum Mr. Darcy. Oh yeah. That is really nice. Okay. Oh. That is really lovely. That is really lovely. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's got some big kind of creases through it. I don't know if I've got that in the picture right, but and I got all my lighting is all over the place, I know. But I asked for something that was not so smooth. I wanted a bit of matte finish and texture. And they've given me that because I love the, whatever it is they have on their banner on their website. I don't know whether it's a toffee or an aged um, buttered rum, but I just love it. And I want mine to look like that. So oh, just, I'm in love with this already. It is so beautiful. And the A5, when it's fully loaded is uh, I have arthritis and you probably can't notice but my hands are 
the muscles in them have gone really weak and my I have a lot of pain in my wrists and so just to pick up a, an A5 to journal in it is starting to actually get quite weighty. Even my Mr. Darcy A6, which I keep in my da bag for everyday carry, um, it's hard for me to pick it up out of my bag. So, um, but I'm persevering with it because I love it. Um, so this is going to be my everyday journal and I just thought I've never ever tried a B6 before and when I saw people online with B6s I thought that sort of looks an in-between an A6 and an A5 just shorter and just so I thought perfect I'm going to try that so difficult though to find the um, inserts very difficult I ordered some Midori and they ended up being B6 slim which is basically just a tall A6 and I felt it's too cramped for me to write so I got I bought um, some A4 Rhodia notepad and I cut that down to B6 and I made my own um, inserts so hold on one second and I'll go and grab the inserts yourselves okay so here we have this is the Midori and they sold it as B6 and I had absolutely no idea that it's actually B6 slim which is basically an inch longer A6 so I wasn't very thrilled about that because they were not cheap lovely paper I love Midori um, so here is what I made for myself. I made some B6 out of the Rhodia dot grid. Stitched them up by hand, saddle stitch, and they are going to fit in there just beautifully. Just beautifully. So they will be all going in here. How cute is that? And one more thing I have to show you. Back in one second. Oh, this little baby is going to go in here. So that's why I've got some turquoise. I've tried to think of what the buttered rum colour would be like, so I've got some golden tones in there and some turquoise tones in there and something that would kind of, you know, go in between. So this is my Twisby, my first Twisby because I own three Lamis, one Safari, one Lamy Lux and one Lamy All Star. So this is my first Twisby. And I have to say, I'm quite in love with it. Um, I love the way the cap screws off, but that's a whole nother story. I might do a review on this little baby and um, show you that later, but isn't that going to be a pretty set up? So, ladies, gentlemen, whoever cares to watch, I apologise for my very bad setup. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed looking, I'll bring them all back out again, looking at this lovely pile up. <laughs> I do so wish they were all for me. Um, of the very beautiful Chic Sparrows. Claire Outlander, Cream Black Beauty, Hera Odyssey, or Odyssey Hera. And Mr. Darcy Butter Drum. Mmm, yummy. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.